Follow me on a journey from the Amiga 500 to the Amiga 600 to the CD32 and then on to Windows 98 Windows XP with 3DFX Voodoo 2 graphics 16 megabytes of RAM all the way up to the Nintendo Switch how did this journey take place? What was the process from becoming a complete Amiga only to a complete Windows 98, Windows XP only, everything else is not a real computer. All these Playstations and Xboxes and Saturns and uh, Master Systems, what are they when I have a CD32? Come on, folks. <laughs> yeah, so this is the complete history with about 1% 1 1 of my collection. I don't know, I, I want to name this from Red Alert to Red Alert, but. Oh, you can actually because I think I can go westward because they released June. So before the law, lands of law, westward released June on the Amiga. So I'm going to call this uh, from westward to westward. I have no idea. Um, who makes Red Alert now? And I have no idea where a copy of it is. Yeah, one day this... There will be no clutter. Tom Clancy, Tom Clancy. Tom Clancy. Red Alert 3, here you go. So, Westwood, from Westwood, Dune, to... What company owns them now? So from what I've been reading, um, Westwood no longer exists, so I'll never get rid of my Westwood collection then. So Electronic Arts bought them out, so, but this has Microsoft. They, oh there we go, Electronic Arts. .com.au so Microsoft what's the word sourced out bought the rights or something to these yeah it's like finding out Elvis Presley just died <laughs> that's not a joke which would, would be my next to Bethesda Historically, Westwood would be, Westwood would be my favourite company. Yeah. Okay. Enough dicking around. Let's there it is. Electronicarts.com.au. A U E A. So enough dicking around. Let's get into it. How do we get from an Amiga 500 playing Lemmings to? Come on and conquer three on the Xbox 360. The mystery has me on the edge of my seat. <laughs>